Hello, 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 hello. This is Father Adam greeting you with more good news that I know you can use. In my very first year of being a priest, I received a phone call to go and baptize a three-month-old baby in the hospital that was dying of cancer. And I go to the hospital and I see through the window in the hospital room that the mother is breastfeeding her baby and I could hear her singing. This is my body given for you. Take and eat. This is my body which I give to you. She was repeating the words through a song of the consecration of the Eucharist that we hear at each and every Holy Mass. And I enter the room and she looks at me and she says, Father Adam, the doctors are telling me that I should not be breastfeeding my baby anymore because there's nothing to be done. All I need to do is just wait for him to die. But I am his mother, she says. I am his mother. And as long as I have him here with me, I will continue to breastfeed him and I will continue to hold him and I will continue to sing to him because I am his mother. Each and every one of us has cancer flowing through our bodies. Doctors tell us that the average is that every five days a human being has cancer and naturally we expel the cancer through stress and other environmental factors, anxiety, lots of other things. The cancer, which is a mastetization of cells continues to develop and that's how we get cancer. But each and every one of us has cancer all the time in our bodies that eat away at us. What is that cancer in your life? Maybe it's the situation with your marriage or maybe it's an addiction that you are facing or your depression or your anxiety or the fact that you can't pay your bills or you've lost a loved one and you can't find yourself because you've been married for 55 years and now what am I going to do? Or you feel lonely and you don't know what to do. You can't find someone in your life. There's all sorts of cancers going through our bodies, through our mind, eating away at us. And God, like that mother in that hospital room, holds us sings to us, loves us, caresses us, kisses us. Because God is our mama. God is your mama. Do you know you have a mama? God loves you so much. He holds you in this life, in the midst of whatever it is that is eating at you or in you or uh, <laughs> causing you all this distress this and anxiety. And God is singing to you and God is saying, as long as I have you here with me, I'm going to hold you. And not only that, I'm going to breastfeed you. Hmm? Do you know that in the mother's milk, there's blood present? That's why, you know, you can get HIV from a mother's milk. That's why they have to give people medication in order to prevent that. Because a mother's milk also contains blood, contains her, it's her life. Blood in the Bible is life. So the mother gives life to the baby. Well, we are those babies. We are God's children and God feeds us. In fact, the Bible invites us to do that, to suck at the breast of the Lord. The Bible says that. Because God wants to nourish us with his presence. And where does God do that? Well, at Holy Mass. 
That's why we go to Holy Mass and we receive the Eucharist. And the Eucharist isn't a symbol. We don't believe in that as Catholics. We don't believe that it's a symbolic thing. We believe that it is the real body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. His real presence. We call it the real presence. God takes out his breast at Mass and says, Come, feed on me. As long as I have you here with me, I'm going to continue to nourish you, to hold you in the palm of my hands, to hug you, to kiss you, to let you know everything is going to be okay. Every little thing is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right because God has us in his hands. And if God has us in his hands, those are the best hands to be in. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Look, even the deer is looking at me. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess my singing <laughs> spooks even the deer. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you in his hands. He's got your brother, your sister, whoever it is that you're worried about, your children in his hands. Everything will be fine because God is in our life. When you get up in the morning, do you magnify God or do you magnify your issues? You get up this morning and did you say, mm, I've got this ache, that ache, this sickness, this situation, or did you get up and did you say, God is in my life? Mary is in my life. I've got the mother of God in my life. The saints are in my life. I've got the Eucharist. We have confession. We've got the rosary. <laughs> we have everything we need. <clears throat> yeah, we've got the church. We have everything. Everything is fine. Huh? So we keep smiling. We remain joyful. Because the devil wants to rob us of our joy. The devil cannot smile. The devil doesn't have a sense of humor. And we relax. That's faith. Faith is the ability to relax. To say, mm, be not afraid. All the hairs on my head are counted. I've got more hair. Now that I don't have anemia, look how much hair I have. Lots of hair. In fact, I need a haircut. Hmm? All the hairs on my head are counted. Look at the birds. Oh, there's lots of birds here singing. Hmm? I'm in Germany right now. Uh, the birds here. It's almost June and one of the only days where you could walk around and it's so nice outside. So I'm listening to the birds singing praying for each and every one of you. You know, Jesus said, look at the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap and yet they eat. Hmm? How much more does your heavenly father care for you? If he's caring for them and they're fine, hmm? which means we're all going to be fine. God is with us. And if God is with us, who can be against us? Hmm? So take that in. He's got you in his hands. It will all be fine. And I made this video for you because I love you. And if I love you, that means Jesus loves you. Yes. And you needed to hear this today. Because, you know, there's no, there's no coincidences. If you came upon this video because somebody shared it, which is that's why it's so important to share all the videos that I make. Because you don't know who needs to hear this message. It's good news that I know you can use and those in your life can use. There's no coincidences in life. There's only God incidences. God wanted you to hear this today because you needed this. You need it. You need that energy, that divine fuel. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to keep walking and praying for you. God bless you. Mwah.